Have you ever pulled an all-nighter? Uh, I have. Yes. Yeah? Yes. 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 Yeah, I'm sure in college I remember writing, I was an English major. I could procrastinate sometimes with my papers, crack the window on my dorm room to get some fresh air in there and just kind of hammer out a paper late at night. Are you a big caffeine person? Uh, sometimes. <sighs> nah, it makes me a bit agitated. Yeah, I like Red Bulls. Do you drink a lot of Red Bulls? Yes. I love coffee. What, what kind of coffee? Black? Eh, I guess I've always been a coffee drinker, so I probably started drinking coffee in college, so probably. No. Yes. No. <laughs> How much sleep do you think teens should get? Um, at least eight hours, but I don't get that myself, so. We definitely don't get enough sleep at all. Ten hours. Eight hours. I generally get about ten hours a night. I'd say recommend, like, minimum six. Nine hours. Nine hours. Uh, more than they do, but I think that for a high school age student, you're supposed to have eight to nine hours a night. And in my experience as a high school student myself, I probably did not get eight to nine hours a night. And it's, that's tough to fit into your day, but if you can prioritize it, you're, you're healthier for it. It's better for you. Hey Hawks, it's your host of the Leaders again. First off, thank you so much for participating in this year's BHS HOSA wellness campaign by stopping by our booth at lunch, participating in our homeroom activities, and completing the sleep survey. The feedback from BHS students in regard to their sleep showed us that 67.9% of students go to bed after 11 p.m. and 12.6% of those reported going to sleep after 1 a.m. Less than 10% of students get the recommended amount of sleep. The typical BHS student gets around seven hours of sleep when the recommended amount is eight to 10. Nearly 29.8% of students reported regularly having less than six hours. 56.9% of students felt as though they were not getting enough sleep. And 38.2% of students felt that the blended and four-day model has improved their sleep habits. In all, it is clear that most students at Bozeman High fail to get enough sleep, and many studies have proven that such deprivation has negative impacts on your health. However, this is not an uncommon finding. It's estimated by the CDC that two out of three high school students do not get enough sleep due to packed schedules and the natural shifting of circadian rhythms. From weight gain and hypertension to depression and anxiety, getting enough sleep has a much greater impact than simply feeling tired. Some ways to improve the amount of sleep you are getting include going to bed at the same time each night, decreasing screen time at least 30 minutes before bed, and controlling your caffeine intake. As the Future Health Professionals Club here at the Bozeman High School, our mission is to give you guys the information so that you can make the best decisions regarding your health. Remember, if you or someone you know is struggling with mental health, please reach out to one of our school counselors or text HOME to 74 1741 to connect with a crisis counselor for free and confidential counseling services. Sleep well, Hawks!